Hello class, welcome again to PE 101. This time will be on sinusoids and phasors. Um, kini lang ta sa ano 8.1 tong i-discuss ng sinusoids and phasors. Okay, mao ni ang last coverage sa mga exam. Okay, so let's begin by defining some terms. Um, in this lecture, we will analyze circuits in which the source that is on voltage or current nato is sinusoidally time varying. A sinusoid is a signal that has a the form of the sine or cosine function, which can be dealt with conveniently by using its phasor representation. Phasors are complex numbers representing the amplitude and phase of a sinusoid. Meanwhile, an alternating current or AC, a sinusoidal current, is a sinusoidal current which reverses at regular time intervals and has alternative, uh, alternately positive and negative values. Hence named alternating current. And circuits driven by AC current or AC voltages, AC voltage sources are called um, AC, AC circuits. Okay, so Drita sinusoids. Let's consider this one. Um, v equal to Vm sin omega t, where our Vm is the amplitude, omega t is the argument, and omega can be angular frequency in radian per second. But take note that omega is equal to 2 pi over t, or that's equal to 2 pi f. Okay. Um, okay, so t or period that's in seconds per cycle, frequency ang, ang reciprocal niya that's in cycle per second, that's in hertz. Tapos i compare na to ni, si v1 o si v2. Where ang V, kay V2, ang si Vm on yung danina, si V2, yung amplitude si Vm, yung ang argument will be this one na, omega t plus phi. Then si phi mo yung mohang phase ng mga sinusoid. So, bali kung si, kung si phi, ba ang ini, ang phase niya kay V1 kay 0 man. So, ang phase dari ni 2, kung si phase is, equal, is not equal to 0 na pasabot, Si V1 is leading V2. Ano, um, napasabot na si V1 o si V2 are out of phase. Okay. Kung equal to zero, in phase sila. Okay. Pero kung dili na equal to zero, napasabot, out of phase sila. And V2 leads V1 by phi. Okay. Kung imo nang i-graph, kini siya, kung bali dili na zero, Makita ni mo nga, nag-una na siya. Okay. Contra kay V1. That's why V2 leads V1. Or pwede pa naman isulti, V1 lags, or kung maganda, ulahi siya, kay V2 by V. For example, find the amplitude, phase, period, and frequency. So, so that's both source. So, amplitude, okay, may phase is this one. Angular frequency is Omega t plus phi man to the bus, omega 50 radians per second. And we know that the period is 2 pi over omega. Ato pa, ato ang, ato ang period will be this one. And si frequency is just the reciprocal of our period. So, no, no, nothing like. And can I calculate the phase angle between the two? Kung mo si V1 and si V2, which is leading. Okay, uh, inundumi siya ninyo mga trigonometric identities. Um, okay. Uh, okay, inundumi nga, uh, um, as mentioned earlier, uh, kung mag-compare to sinusoids, kung mag-compare to sinusoids, kung mag-compare to Now, same form dapat sila, sine, sine. Ano. So, in comparing, dapat, you must, first express them in the same form. So both either sine or both cosine with positive amplitude, amplitude so that we can compare them easily. Since, diba, negative cos, negative 10 cosine omega t plus 15 man eh. And we know that negative cosine omega t, na uh, kinyo negative cosine omega t is equal to cosine omega t plus minus 180. So, nung pasabot kini, kung ang positive 180 at ang ganito, Pasabot kinis si negative 10 cosine omega t plus 50 degrees is equal to 10 cosine omega t plus 20, 30 degrees. Then kinin na si vt. vt is 12 sine omega t minus 10. And 
di ba si um, and this is equal to um, kung lang tawanin yun dali ah si sine um kung may si sine omega t minus 90 o si cosine omega t um, plus 360 iba si kung si sine omega t minus 90 okay o si cosine omega t si sine omega t kaya ano lang si sine omega t na sine omega t is equal to cosine omega t minus 90. Na kung positive ang sine omega t na cosine omega t minus 90. Okay. Unya si cosine omega t po kung positive equal na siya kay um Kaya wala rin ang nakita. Pero si cosine omega t, ikaw rin na siya kay cosine omega t plus 360 degrees. Di ba? Okay. Ito yung kramang sa circle. Ano. Ito pa, ang ato ang V2 will be in curve sine omega t minus 9, 10 degrees will be equal to 12 cosine uh, minus 100 degrees. Kibaga, base lang sa katong kini. Ano. So, that is 12 yeah, sine omega t minus um, 10 degrees. Kini kung sine omega t ka, na, ang cosine equivalent niya, mag-add mag na ka o, ano, kung positive ni, mag-minus ka o 90 degrees. So, muna siya. Muna na, ni mong negative 100 degrees. So, tapos, kung imo ni i, kuan, i, kini kayo, plus mag-adari, kini kayo minus. Mga itong, yun yung si, cosine omega t kung mag-add kasi ang angle of um, siyang phase of 60 degrees equal na sila sa ito pa this one is also equal to 12 cosine omega t plus 260 degrees okay sa ito pa kung kung 216 eh, kaya na kay 230 yun ang pasabot si V2 nag-lead kay V1 by 30 or pwede po din himoon nga um, i-equicure solution kay inyo na igra. Di ba? Kung si um, kini si V1, 230 man yung half phase. So, uh, sige, under ka 360 man yun. So, ang dari ah, uh, kung mga 360, dari 180. No? So, kung mga, ah, so nga itong phase lang. Okay. So, kung dari that's 180 na plus 30. So, mo nang kini 230 na siya. So, mo na si V1. Then, si V2, ganina, it's negative 100. So, kini kay negative 90 man eh. Plus negative 10 pa yun. So, ito pa nasa ta rin. Or, pwede ka positive to 60. So, 180 plus 80. Okay. So, mo nang nakadari a V2. So, kung lang taon mo, clearly, V2 leads V1 by 30 degrees. Okay, so, ikikir your solution kung maglibog mo ani kay i-plot ninyo. Okay. Narita, complex numbers, a complex, um, diba, nag-mention mo ganyan na o gano'n. Phaser. Actually, a phaser is a complex number. In a complex number, z can be written in rectangular form, polar form, or exponential form. Ina nila ha, form where Rx is the real part of Z, Y is the imaginary part of Z, R is the magnitude of Z. Ano na siya? Na R is equal to square root of X squared plus Y squared. It's a green theory. Right now. Then, phi na the real morning atong phase. Okay. So, tapos i-consider ng ano, graph on the right. Given taog x of y, then we can solve for r and phi. Diba kay si r, square root of x squared plus y squared. Phi is equal to tangent inverse of y over x. Or given kay r of phi, then we can solve for x and y. Because si x kay equal to r cosine phi, and y is equal to r sine phi. For the exponential form, 
ka ni siya, Z, ano na ingan siya, R, E to the J, V. That's based on the Euler's identity. Nga kini. E plus minus J, V. Sika to cosine V plus minus J sine V. So, kini siya. Uh, R, cosine, kini. Euler's identity man ni. Okay. Okay, so for the complex numbers, um, addition and subtraction are better performed. Kung baga katong sa phasor na to, um, polar form to siya. Okay, ang phasor na to. Okay, naka-polar form. Pero dali sa ta sa um, complex numbers, phasors. Ang basic properties sa itong complex numbers, given the nga ni natay complex numbers kung addition and subtraction gan it's better performed in rectangular form pero kung multiplication and division it's better done in polar form so bali kung natay z1 plus z2 mas maayo nga kini mo ang gamiton x1 uh, z1 plus z2 kini mo gamiton pero kung mag multiply ka kini mo ang gamiton so kung addition ang real part o ang imaginary part in ipang add respectively Kung multiplication, i-multiply niyo ang magnitude niya. Pagkuman, i-add ra niyo ang phase niya. Kung um, division po, i-divide lang, then i-minus niyo ang phase. Ano nga niyo kung, kung reciprocal anda. Okay, so reciprocal lang sa imuhang magnitude, 1 over r to the negative yung mag phase. Then kini siya, z conjugate. Um, Ang kining sa imuhang koan, um, kung na nga ni Gani, kanang na star, so imuro nang i-change ang iyahang Z1, positive man na imuro nang i-change ang so, negative. Or, ang imuhang face ana, mahingo po negative. Okay. Okay, so, face, ang um, kanang face, so it's just a complex number. Okay, that represents the amplitude and the face of your sinusoid. Sinusoids are easily expressed in terms of phasors, which are more convenient to work with than sine and cosine functions. Yung mga kabantay mo, medyo, medyo, nang hesitant mo mag-solve kung makita mo ingan yun na. But actually, kung inyo nang i-phasor, masayo na siya. Okay, so for the correspondence, to get the phasor representation sa mo hang sinusoid, una, i-express anin mo. Kung nakasign mo siya, kung walang ihatag sa inyo kayo nakasign function, i-express anin mo as cosine. Gamita ito ninyong trigonometric identity nga ipakita sa slide din nina. Dahil yun, kung nakakosa na, ingan nina dahil yun. BM, BM. Kung saan na rin yung mahang feeder, mara po din. Okay. So, for example, transform the sinusoid to phasor. So, yun mo saan di-transform to cosine. Okay, then, I had then ka. 4, parang yung amplitude, phase. J kay 1 ang angle angle 90 degrees man na tapos si 8 dito na negative J20 it's 8 angle negative 20 na sa ito pagi multiplyan na sila so kay multiply na mo 1 times 8 is 8 then kini 90 plus negative 20 degrees so 70 degrees so ito pa na na din kay 8 angle 70 degrees then kung ipaconvert na sa time doon na so, amplitude plus cosine ng mega t plus ang phase time. So, yun na lang siya. So, dito ako sa ito ang 101. Thank you.